mapping the market for Tuesday going through a fractal ascension. Now, to begin with, on the five hour time frame, we have a typical growth fractal. Okay. Uh, the bottom's here, and a trend has been up for the past couple weeks. All right. And what we want to do, look at the other time frames to find a uh, discovery of another growth fractal or a decaying fractal. Now, on the four hour time frame, we have a decaying fractal right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's the top, that's the bottom. Uh, it's uh, decaying temporarily. If we break above 55.23, trend will be higher. If we break 54.42, trend will be lower. Okay. Now we go to another time frame. And that would be a three hour time frame. We really don't have anything there. You ignore that time frame. We're ascending the ladder. Okay. Now, on the two hour time frame, we're looking for a decaying or a growth fractal. We have not none here yet. Uh, possibly, uh, we have a slider bottom here. Let me pull that up for you. Okay. The bottom here would be uh, 54.85. The top here would be 55.16. We go beyond 16, current will be higher. Okay. Now we go to the one hour time frame. Okay. And we take a look at the fractal. And what we have here is a typical growth fractal, which I labeled. Yeah, it is nested within another form here. We have the bottom here at 83, the top here at 16. We go above 16, the trend will be higher. Okay, so right now the market map is pointing and trending up. That's bullish. All right, so let's go to. The next time frame ascending on the time frame, we go to the 30 minute crackle. Okay, what do we have here? Um, not too much there. Well, we'll move to the 15 minute time. Oh, forgot we move to the 20 minute time frame. And we take a look at what's happening there. And we really don't have anything there yet. Okay, go to the 15 minute time frame. And what do we have here? Nothing yet. Let's go to the 10 minute time frame. We really don't have anything there. And we go to the Five minute time frame. And what do we have here? Uh, nothing really. Let's go to the three minute time frame. What do we have here? Uh, we have a growth fractal right here. Okay. At 421, the market began to grow. The trend is still up. Okay. We go beyond 14 here. The trend will continue. Okay. Um, the bottom here is 5504. Okay. And currently, We have, I just want to point this out to you, 
we have a decaying fractal here on a three minute time frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. If you go to the small time frames, get your entry points, you know, it's a little top there, kind of bounced around. Uh, we had uh, a little throw over on the upside. Uh, currently, minute by minute, now we have a growth fractal at the slider. Okay. Right here, that's the bottom. And then we have the top here. By looking at all the time frames today, things look higher. We break above 15 here, we turn higher. Okay. If we break 11 here, we go lower. So, if you want to do a trade, I post it on Telegram. Okay. Uh, you may want to put a stop here at 12. You got two point risk, then you go up, you go beyond 15, you raise the stop. This is how you map the market turns. Every hour, every day, you have a growth fractal and decaying fractal. All you have to do is find those particular fractals on all the time frames. Okay, and all the time frames right here. You go through every one and then you map the market and then you can identify the turns which happen. Okay. Thank you, Nikki. Signing off.